Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. My name is Zakib Javed. I am the CEO and co-founder of AMG Flies. Uh, that's an Amazon advertising agency. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, how to calculate a PPC budget uh, for a specific product. So uh, before starting the video, uh, if you didn't subscribe the YouTube channel, uh, then subscribe the channel uh, and hit the bell icon. If you are an Amazon seller uh, or a service provider, uh, and if you didn't calculate the PPC budget uh, before launching a product, uh, then to be honest, uh, you will not achieve your goals and it will be hard for you to make uh, profits. So it's very important uh, to estimate the uh, monthly PPC cost for any product. And also if someone hire you uh, to uh, manage the advertising console for the one to uh, multiple uh, SKUs, then it's your duty uh, to uh, calculate the PPC budgets uh, for the for the SKUs and uh, then you need to recommend the calculated uh, budget uh, to your clients uh, for the maximum visibility and the ranking. So uh, let's discuss uh, the PPC budget calculation formula and uh, one thing you need to keep in mind uh, all the uh, calculations in this video will be the estimated so you don't need to consider as exact calculation. So uh, the PPC cost formula uh, is equal to uh, daily target sales are uh, divided by conversion rate and multiplied by CPC. Means uh, if you want to uh, if you want to estimate uh, the PPC cost on a daily or monthly basis for any keyword or the any uh, asset, uh, then you need to apply this formula. Then you will come to know the uh, estimated PPC cost of for the for this type of for any type of keyword or the asset. So, uh, first of all, uh, before uh, calculating the PPC uh, cost, I need to uh, I need to find out uh, what should be the daily sales for any keyword, and what uh, would be the uh, conversion rate on the keyword or the SN, and what would be the CPC. So you need to find out these three values on any keyword that you want to target. So let's start with an example. I am selling a product uh, that is acrylic sign holder. And uh, I want to create four campaigns uh, and one campaign in one keyword like this one. And I just want to uh, target this keyword uh, in one campaign. So for the campaign one, I want to uh, calculate the PPC budget. So first of all, I need to find out what should be the daily target sales uh, on this keyword and what would be the conversion rate of this keyword and what would be the CPC. So for the daily target sales uh, and uh, uh, there is a term uh, when you do reverse ascent on the Cerebro and the term is CPR 8 days. That means if you want to rank on any keyword then you need to achieve number of sales in 8 days. That's a CPR. For example, the CPR of acrylic sign holder is 24. That means uh, if I want to uh, get rank on this keyword, I need to generate 24 sales in 8 days then Amazon will rank my uh, listing on this keyword. So these are the sales that we need to achieve uh, in, two, in eight days. But I need to calculate the daily target sales. So uh, simply I need to divide the 24 over eight. So it will be three. So uh, I need daily three uh, sales on this keyword in order to get rank on this keyword. So daily sales are three. And now uh, one thing you need to keep in mind uh, that daily uh, the CPR of each keyword or SN would be different. So you need to keep this thing, uh, thing in your mind. And now the second uh, factor is uh, parameter is conversion rate. Uh, the formula of conversion rate is uh, the number of orders divided by number of clicks. So uh, conversion rate uh, basically varies from product to product and varies from niche to niche and category to category. Uh, so according to my little experience, uh, I have observed that uh, the uh, the products having selling price under ten dollar and uh, with less variations have an average conversion rate of thirty percent, thirty five percent. And certainly, I am working on a product in the UK market with eight point nine uh, pound selling price and having uh, two to three variations. And my average conversion rate on this uh, on that uh, product is forty forty five percent. So, a uh, conversion rate varies from product to product. And the products having a selling price under twenty dollar have a less conversion rate like 18 percent 20 percent more 25 percent it's average uh, in uh, 
in these uh, selling range products. And the high-ticket products normally uh, have a low conversion rate, but again, it uh, varies from product to product. So uh, if you have already launched your product uh, like sign, uh, acrylic sign holder, then you will come to know uh, what is the average conversion rate and what is the average CPC. You can uh, uh, get the data from the current campaign. But if you just want to estimate the uh, conversion rate and CPC before launching this product, uh, then uh, Amazon says uh, the 12% conversion rate is good. So it, and, it, and it's also a general uh, conversion rate in the niches. So you can also consider a uh, 12% conversion rate. So uh, for example, I say my conversion rate is uh, 18%, like my selling price is uh, 18.99. So my conversion rate would be 20% or 25%. I'm just estimating it uh, just for the example. Uh, so the conversion rate is 20%. And now I need to calculate the CPC means cost per click. So uh, again, uh, if you uh, if you have launched the product and you are uh, the uh, you can get the data from the current campaigns if you are, we just want to estimate uh, then simply uh, you need to copy that keyword and uh, you need to target that keyword by in the campaign creation and then you will come to know uh, what would be the suggested bid for this keyword uh, like this one amazon is suggesting a one dollar bid so for example for example if i say uh, my average cpc would be uh, one dollar so now uh, all, i have all the data so let's calculate the budget for this one campaign uh, simple uh, daily target sales three are uh, divided by uh, twenty percent conversion rate, and uh, multiply by uh, every CPC is one dollar multiply by one. So uh, after uh, uh, doing these calculations, uh, the budget required uh, to get three sales on a daily basis on this keyword uh, would be uh, fifteen dollar. So, so this is how uh, you can calculate the PPC budget for one campaign. So uh, you can also apply this formula for the other campaigns uh, as well. And one thing uh, you need to uh, keep in mind that every, again, every keyword have a different conversion rate and every keyword have a, a different uh, CPC. And also uh, the other thing is that if, uh, if a keyword or a SN have a handsome conversion rate like 30%, and have a low CPC like uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, then the required budget would be very low. For example, if I say uh, my uh, target sales are three, <clears throat> for example, if, if I say my target sales are three and my average conversion rate is uh, 30% and my average CPC is uh, 0.5, then require budget to get three sales on this keyword would be five dollar so if your conversion rate is very high and handsome and cpc is very low then the uh, amount for the ppc would be very very low so uh, you need to keep this thing in your mind that uh, the more conversion rate you will have uh, the more ranking you will achieve and uh, if you have low cpc then it's a good nugget so you need to uh, keep these things in your mind so this is the data for the uh, first campaign and uh, for the second campaign uh, i would say uh, i need uh, two sales on a daily basis for example and my average conversion rate is again 20 percent and uh, i need two sales and my average conversion rate is 20 percent and my average cpc is uh, 0 0.85 then simply uh, Two uh, divided by twenty uh, percent and multiply by zero point eight five. So eight point five dollar budget is required uh, for this campaign. So this is how uh, you can calculate the budget uh, for the campaigns. Now you need to keep one thing in your mind again. Uh, the PPC budget calculation is totally depending on your campaign structure. I mean, what type of campaigns uh, and you are going to target. So if you don't know how to uh, set up a perfect campaign structure, I have uploaded a video on YouTube. You can watch that. So, and if you have uh, also, uh, uh, you have, uh, you are uh, 
hired uh, to optimize the current campaigns so then simply you can optimize the current campaigns and you can adjust the current campaigns according to your strategy so a ppc based calculation is totally depending on your campaign structure so my uh, campaign structure is that we should always target the a uh, super element and design specific keywords 5 7 8 it depends on your budget uh, in the exact match type and run the campaigns for the 5 to 7 days so i would say uh, for the first uh, four campaigns i need budget uh, like uh 10 and uh, then i need budget of uh, 15 dollar so after 7 days uh i need to optimize these four campaigns which i have talked uh, we have created in the last week and after optimizing the campaigns then you need to create one broad campaign uh by targeting the keywords by uh, in the broad modifier so uh, again uh, you need to calculate uh, your calculations according to a strategy and i would say uh, for example 20 dollar budget is required for the broad campaign and now again you need to uh, run the campaigns for the next 7 days now after uh, 14 days again you need to uh, optimize the current ranking campaigns and then you need to optimize the broad campaigns so there will be uh, some uh, customer research terms uh, which are converting well in the broad uh, in the broad uh, match type so uh, you simply you need to uh, retarget uh, these uh, keywords in the uh, ranking campaigns for example uh, it's up to you it depends on the customer research term for example these keywords are performing well in the uh, broad match type and then i need to retarget these keywords uh, in the uh, in the exact match type so this will also a one to two campaigns for example i would say i have a uh, get a uh, two a uh, well converting customer search term the required budget for the first customer search term is 10 dollar and for the other is also 10 dollar and then uh, you need to create one auto campaign and you can also set up according to your strategy like uh, i would say the 10 dollar budget for the auto campaign so now there will be eight campaigns after the uh, 14 or uh, 14 to 20 days 14 to 20 days and now uh, the total amount total uh, ppc cost to run these eight campaigns in order to get uh, uh, achieve or uh, in order to Uh, achieve your goals then a uh, simple unit to calculate this budget and this budget is uh, almost $100 so you need to have a handsome uh, you need to have a budget of $100 in order to uh, run these uh, eight campaigns uh, for the on the targeting base of these sales so this is a budget uh, required of in order to create in order to run the sponsor products uh, campaign types now after when you will be profitable <clears throat> then you need to also uh, create uh, more campaigns like in the sponsor brands like a uh, video ad video ads and uh, product collection are the store spotlight product collection and also you need to uh, run some uh, campaigns in the display ads uh, like uh, a product targeting in the display ad so you need to also uh, extract the uh, budget uh, for the uh, these campaigns so uh, by adding the rough uh, amount uh, in these campaigns like a uh, 10 dollar a uh, 10 dollar a uh, uh, 10 dollar so the total ppc cost to run all these type of campaigns uh, would be approximately a uh, 1 uh, 30 dollar so this is how uh, you can calculate the uh, ppc budget for any product that you are going to watch simply you need to keep this formula in your mind and you can apply this formula according to the type of keywords and the essence and uh, category it's up to you uh, so uh, these are the calculations in the formula uh, on the estimated basis and uh, i hope this video will help you a lot and uh, if you need uh, any help from me uh, you can contact to my team and uh, you can also comment uh, comment in the comment section so thank you so much bye